there's a common misconception that Bitcoin is mostly used by criminals and that it's completely anonymous. In fact, the opposite is true. All Bitcoin transactions are visible for the whole world to see. And while you might not be able to link a Bitcoin account to someone's identity right away, once you do, you can track all the transactions that person ever made. In fact, this makes Bitcoin a particularly bad tool for criminals to use. But while Bitcoin has these characteristics that make it one of the safer forms of money, it doesn't mean criminals don't use it. Just like traditional money, they do. There are, however, two important things to note. Firstly, the available data shows that the number of bad Bitcoin transactions is very, very small. If the size of all bad transactions is a ping pong ball, then the entire Bitcoin ecosystem would be a whole crate full of balls. Second, every financial system has risks that cannot be completely ignored, but Bitcoin has some of the best tools to mitigate these risks. We said before that Bitcoin is like the internet. Is the internet all good? Definitely not. Money launderers, terrorists and drug smugglers all use Twitter, Facebook and WhatsApp to communicate. But despite its problems, the internet still has a much larger positive effect than a negative one. In the same way, most evidence suggests that Bitcoin will have a similar or greater net positive effect. Both the internet and Bitcoin can be used by the bad guys or the good guys. Luckily, most of the world are good guys.